we're going to be looking at uh, how do you complete table of values. So if you're not quite sure what table of values is referring to, it's referring to this table here when we're given a lot of values for the x and also we're going to find the values for the y's. Okay? Now how do we complete them? Well, we should be given some sort of relationship. Okay? So if you have a look at this equation, y equals x plus 3, we can see that uh, for every uh, x value, they will have a corresponding y value. Okay, so that's what we're going to be focusing on um, for this right now. Okay, so for example, if we start off the first question, I'm going to say when x equals 0, then y equals 0 plus 3. Okay, so that's the first one for these two boxes here. So x equals 0, I'm just going to put x equals 0 there, then it will be 0 plus 3, then y will be just 3. So what I'm going to do is put my y into there. Okay, so that tells me when x is 0, y would be the value of 3. So, if we take a look at the next one, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, and I want you to lay it out exactly like this. I want you to say, when x equals to 1, y should equal 1 plus 3 this time, because x is 1. Okay, in this case, y would be 4. Then, let's just put the value of 4 into the table of values. Okay, so pretty straightforward. I want to keep doing this until we complete this table. Okay, and that's the question. So, what about x plus 2? So when x equals 2, y equals 2 plus 3 which in turn would equal 5. Okay, make sure you fill it into the table of values. Okay, so when x equals 2, y should equal 5. Okay, and the last one, when x equals 3, y should equal 3 plus 3, which in turn is 6. Okay, we'll make sure that we fill it in there. Okay, so this is a very nice, easy example. We're given a relationship, and we're going to try and fill in the table of values. So let's move on to question number 2. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be doing um, completing the table of values. But the only difference is that we have a different relationship or we have different equations. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start off with x equals 0. So I want you to write, when x equals 0, y should equal 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1, okay? which equals just 1. So make sure you put it into the table there. And we'll keep going. So when x equals 1, then uh, y equals 2 times 1 plus 1, which equals 3. Okay, and don't forget to write it back in there. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Let's keep going. So when x equals 2, y should equal 5. Okay, and put it in there. And you can see that as x goes up, y should also have some specific pattern. So in the last one, when x equals 3, y should equal 2 times 3 plus 1, which in this case is 7. Okay, and make sure that we don't forget to write it in there. Okay, so that's how we complete the table of values.